Welcome to another um, series in the installation videos for Federal Brace. Today we're going to be installing one of our new bench supports. Um, this particular bench support can be used um, in an indoor or outdoor setting for a bench in your shower or for a, um, just a seating bench outside. It's stainless steel. The flanges are three inches wide and it does have a low profile gusset on it that's going to give you the additional support you need um, when supporting the weight of a bench and a person. Um, it's plug welded back here so you don't see any of the weld marks on your gusset and it will be relatively hidden once it's installed. It has countersunk holes that are a quarter inch and we'll be using um, anchors in our installation today as well. We'll talk about that a little bit more um, in a moment. Um, we're going to be installing a decorative concrete bench today um, and we're in the middle of remodeling our building. We're in an old um, mill building and so some of the things that we do today may not fit your application but we'll explain that as we go along. Helping us today is Trip Lipinski with Lewis and Sons Construction Company out of Charlotte and he will be guiding us through this installation today. Now as you can see to get started we have already determined where we want to install the bracket. That's going to be your first step. We determined the placement, the height, um, we lined our brackets up on the wall and marked our holes so that we can be ready to drill for you today. And Tripp's gonna take us through that a little bit and explain that process. Be installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the bracket like this, pretty much centering it up in the area where you wanna install it. If it was just flat, you would just pick a determining point where you wanted the brackets to be, usually about four or five inches off the end would be uh, acceptable. It can be less than that. So you set the brackets up. centering them like that, then you would measure outside of bracket to outside of bracket, which right here it's about 26 and a quarter inches. And you would come over to wherever you're going to install the bracket. Um, this is actually a brick wall is where we're going to be installing this one today. Um, and figure out exactly where you wanted it to be. We've already done that. We, that's where we've got the, the location right here. This is our height location, so you would come up from whatever determining factor you want the height, and you would measure up your height. Then when you got your height measurement, you would come in, take a level, make a level line, mark it, extend it at least the distance that you had for the brackets, the 26 and a quarter, which we've already done right here. Level back down again at the edge like this, making you a, a, a rectangle. That's going to give you the determining factor where your bracket's going to sit and where the edge is going to line up with. You have those two points located. You push the bracket in, take a pencil, mark their holes, take the bracket back off. You're ready to drill. Now we're ready to drill the holes. This is in the application in a brick wall. This is a brick wall behind us here. What we'll be doing is drilling a hole and putting a lead shield in. These are commonly bought at Lowe's, Home Depot's, or any hardware store. And then we're all, this is a quart for a quarter inch screw. And we're also using a quarter inch by two inch screw with a countersunk head that will for, for the bracket, which the bracket is designed for. Quarter inch screw fits right in into the countersink. It's perfect. So we're using an inch and a half lead shield because you need that, at least that minimum depth. You can go longer if you want to, but you need that minimum depth to be able to support the weight of the bench and a person sitting on the bench. Using a two inch screw for the inch and a half, because it's okay if the screw goes through the shield, you just need to make sure that you drill your hole at least two inches deep because that's how, how deep the screw is, how long the screw is. All right. For this quarter inch shield, you have to use a half inch masonry bit, which we have right here. It can also be purchased at Lowe's, Home Depot, any, any hardware store. 
So you've already marked the holes because you've already set your brackets up so all your holes are already in place. So you would just start in the center of the hole. Now we're ready to install the shields, which I told you can be bought at Lowe's or Home Depot. These are quarter inch shields, inch and a half long. You put them in the hole, see they're kind of loose fitting in the hole. Put them in the hole, leaving the end sticking out just a little bit. Installing in wood, which you're going to actually hit some studs or some members that are behind the wall, then the screws are just fine. You don't need the shields. The shields are only for in a, a brick application like this is. What the shield does is when the screw goes in, it, it expands into the brick and has ridges on it which hold it into the brick and don't let, the, don't let it pull back out. Uh, so now what you do is you take the screws, you insert them into the holes. Line the, doing it by hand, you'll line the screws up to the things one at a time, holding the bracket off of the wall, and you start the, the, the bolt in it because it'll want to push it in. Because it'll want to push it in, so you start it out here easy, screwing it in easy till you know that it's got a grab like that, and that's that's good enough for right now. Then you do that on all of them. Yes, you do need to vacuum out the holes and get all the dust out because the dust will pack up in the back of the hole and not let the shield be able to go into the hole at its depth that it needs to. Now that you have all the screws in the shields, you can push the bracket back. You gotta make sure that the shields don't push back before there we go, the bracket can be installed. Using a screwdriver, you tighten up till you get it where it's snug. All right, now the brackets and the shields are pretty much in place. You can still monkey with this some um, once you once you get it done. So now that we've uh, partially tighten it with a screwdriver. What I like to use is an impact driver. You can use a drill if you want to. You could even use a screwdriver. It just gets hard to do. You might strip the screw out or strip the head of the screw off. An impact driver works good because it doesn't strip the screw. It's when it's making its driving noise, it's, dri it's impacting it in. And it keeps from stripping the head of the screw out. Now your brackets installed.